Ever since World War II, Italy has always been perceived as a country that wasn't able of conducting war. This is because of their poor performance during the Second World War. But times have changed and Italy is actually one of the most powerful countries in the world and is building a powerful military against its new enemies. That's why today I'm talking about the future weapons of Italy. Italy's biggest problem is its main battle tank, the C-1 Ares. As many other European nations, when the war in Ukraine started, they discovered that their arsenal was not ready for war and this is especially the case for the Italian heavy armored divisions. The Ares is a tank developed in the 90s and despite several upgrades through the years, it still isn't up there with the other best European nations. Moreover, Italy only has 200 tanks, of which only 80 are ready for operations. In two years Russia has lost over 2,600 tanks and Ukraine lost 1,500. This means that Italy's tanks would be gone after a month of fighting. This, of course, is not sustainable and the Italian armed forces know. That's why Italy is adopting two solutions, one for the short term and one for the long term. In the near future, Italy is working to adopt the German Leopard 2 tanks in their latest and most advanced version, the Leopard 2A8. Italy plans to buy over 130 Leopard 2A8 tanks from German company Rainmetal and then modify them in its own industry plants and to modernize 125 of its old C-1 Ares tanks to the new C-3 version, which will improve its armor, sensors, and engines, and will fit a new turret on the tank, the Hitfact Mark II, which you can see in the photo. It has an automatic loading system, the new Hitrol remote weapon station, and a laser warning system. The Leopard 2 and the RE in its newest version are meant to be used until 2035. But Italy is not waiting and they are entering the main ground combat system project to design the European tank of the future. Italian defense company Leonardo has agreed to cooperate with Rainmetal and Nexter to develop a futuristic and highly technological design to replace old tanks and infantry fighting vehicles. But Italy is not only looking to replace its tanks. The army wants to develop a modular design so that it can be used for different purposes. That's why they launched the Army Armored Combat Vehicle Program in which they plan to acquire over a thousand armored combat vehicle to replace their old Dardo infantry fighting vehicles. The A2CS program is currently evaluating three different vehicles. The most likely to be selected is the Lynx KF-41, and other options are the CV-90 and the Boxer in its tracked version. Lastly, the real masterpiece of the Italian armored divisions is the B2 Centaur, a tank destroyer with a 120mm gun that can go as fast as 110 kilometers per hour and has great stability. What makes it better than its competitors is its protection of the crew from IEDs and mines. Moreover, the Italian army is also taking advantage of the B-2's great modularity and have developed two incredible vehicles. One is the Centaur 155 Porcupine, an artillery piece with a futuristic design based on the chassis of the B-2 that has a maximum range of 60 kilometers and can fire up to 8 rounds per minute. The second design is the Draco Anti-Air System, which is armed with a 76mm naval gun refitted and modified to shoot down aerial threats with guided munitions, which allow the vehicle to have unmatched range without sacrificing the great protection offered by the chassis of the B-2 Centauro. Despite its great benefits, the B-2 lacks in space for troops and cannot bring many troops to the front line. Italy is solving this problem with its new VTLM-2 links. This vehicle is derived from the experience of the Lynx-1, which was used intensively in Afghanistan and performed so well, protecting its troops from mines and direct fire that the enemy started calling it the monster. And now, in its second version, the Lynx is even better. It's more digitalized, has a more powerful engine, and is more agile. It also has increased protection and payload capacity. It's so good that the Italian army is planning to have almost 4,000 of them by 2035. And while you might be thinking that the Italian army is really good, just wait to hear about its navy and air force. The Italian air force is on the same tier as the other big powers, as it can count on around 100 Eurofighter Typhoon and around 95th generation F-35 fighter jets. Moreover, the Italians are developing a new helicopter to support its land forces, which is allegedly better than the Apache. The name of the helicopter is Augusta AW249 Phoenix and has just registered its maiden flight. It's larger and has a better survivability than its predecessor, the Augusta AW129. It's armed with a 20mm rotary cannon and spike missiles. Lastly, Italy's real pride is its navy. It's already one of the most powerful in the world,
being ranked around 10th place, but it's going to be even more powerful in the future. The Navy is developing a new evolution of the Frim vessels, which are so good that even the U.S. Navy ordered them, with the name Constellation Class. These ships are armed with either two 76mm cannons in their anti-submarine version, or with a 127mm and a 76mm cannon in the general-purpose version. Then, the ship has missile launchers to fire Theseus Mark II anti-ship missiles, with a range of over 350 kilometers. Lastly, as defense against drones, missiles, and aircrafts, the ship has two KBA 25mm remote weapon system. One of these ships is right now in the Red Sea to protect Italian interests in the region. Next, Italy is working closely with other European countries such as France, Denmark, and Greece to build the European Patrol Corvette. This class of ships is set to be a next-gen patrol vessel, around 110 meters long and with a range of at least 6,000 nautical miles. The Corvette is set to have a futuristic approach to digitalization and connection of forces on the battlefield, with extensive use of drones. Another project that the Italian Navy is developing is the DDX Cruiser. This is the most ambitious project that Italy has taken on yet. The DDX Cruiser is set to be the heaviest and most powerful combat ship in Europe by 2030, twice as powerful than current class of ships such as the Horizon class and Type 45 class. Lastly, Italy is replacing three of their old landing ships with new and improved LXD land and dock ships. Also, Italy is introducing four new U-212 submarines in the next year. So by 2030, Italy would have 10 Frim frigates, seven medium offshore patrol vessels, which were launched just a year ago, eight new mine countermeasure vessels, three land and dock ships to replace the old San Giorgio class, two DDX cruisers, that are set to be the most powerful vessels in Europe, two Horizon-class corvettes, for offshore patrol vessels, eight modern U-212-class submarines, and lastly, it would be one of the few countries in the world to have two aircraft carriers. Thank you for watching the video. Let me know in the comments if you think that Italy is going to be one of the most powerful countries in the world by 2030.